Hello everyone and welcome back to another match of round robins between uh, Matheson and Izzy and we have actually Slorp and Master Chief here with us uh, in game actually. They're commentating with me, I have Hotwire and Matheson who actually play the game itself. So uh, Hotwire, what do you think will happen in this match? Who will win? Oh, um, I, I, I'm a little bit unsure on this one actually if I'm honest with you. It's going to be interesting to watch. Do you know any of their skill levels, per se? I, I know Nizzy, Matt, and um, somewhat Chief, but mm -hmm. not sure about uh, the other guy. Yeah, but I, let just point out here that Schlop is actually Splurge, just have, has a different name. Um, okay. Matt, what do you think of it? So, I don't remember this game particularly well either. Um, uh, I knew at the time that Master Chief was one of the uh, newer players, um, mm -hmm. both both in the, both in the team and, and to and to the the game, having played a few games with him beforehand. Um, Blurg or or Schlorp, as he's playing under the hand of in the game, is a bit of a wild card. He doesn't play particularly often. Um, yeah, but it's actually pretty good. good. Yeah, he is very good. Um, I not playing very often i think gives him a little bit of a disadvantage here in that he doesn't necessarily know the maps mm -hmm. uh, as well as as well as some of the more regular players might um i believe they did play yeah this, a, this was not a did they play a practice match before this um i believe we did play a practice practice match before this yes right. oh but it was, it was uh, with but, uh, me and sister mike wasn't it that was it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so based on what I see here, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a nice player. Oh, it looks like Matt, you and Nizzy already know the map pretty well. And you know where to go here. But in yes. case of Master Chief and Spurg or Slop, uh, they played bottom previously. So they might not know where to go on top. Uh, yes, I think in the practice game they actually had uh, reverse positions um, mm -hmm. with uh, Schlorp in bottom right and Master Chief in, uh, sorry, with Schlorp in top right and Chief in uh, top left. Um, oh, well, Chief seems to be actually expanding pretty well here. Going straight yes, for the well, bottom cliff. This was one of the later Although, games that we played. So uh, I think they they watched the games that had, uh, had been played up to this point so they it weren't entirely in the dark as to how to uh, how to play this map. Mm -hmm. You were saying something, Hotwire? Yeah, I was um, saying about um, Chief's base that although he's expanded down, he is the first aura final. He wasn't that close to the aura. Right, right, right. Just a, just a minor comment, but... It was a little interesting to see, Matt, how you didn't expand all the way to the right. Instead, you went straight for the cliff at the bottom here. Usually players will go all the way to the right, uh, bottom right hand side corner to get the orb is there before you move down down the cliff. Um, yes, uh, I can't remember quite why I did that. Uh, I have a <laughs> feeling, I have a feeling, I mean looking at the minimap it looks like it worked, but I thought it didn't work, it must have been one of the other games. And this is where you see Nizzy actually putting on the early pressure between the uh, putting on slope here. On this map particularly being so big, you want to always be attacking, don't you? You always want to be picking free miners where you can, actually moving around the map, yeah, splitting you, your you army want, a lot. You want to, you, I mean, yeah, obviously, um, there's benefit of, there's benefits of being on the aggressive, but there's also benefits of being on the defense that you'll, mm -hmm. you'll be able to get the units out, potentially to help reinforce you quicker. Mm -hmm. There's also but, the advantage but, of uh, sentry guns and being placed and all that. Yeah, exactly. But the being on the aggressive allows you to decide how the game's going to pan out. Oh, that was some nice play right there. Matt going yeah. up the right side, picking up some free miners. Well, mini, mini, mini little split over the uh, all as well. So. Yeah. Uh, also, I saw how he baited uh, the uh, his tanks were in a straight line, and when Chief's tank came straight in, he immediately was able to uh, sandwich both of them straight away. Well, it looks like Matt might wipe the floor with Chief here. 
Well, Nizzy and Slow Price at least still teasing each other. That's uh, all of uh, Chief's uh, war factory got. Yeah, he has no army either. Oh, it looks like Nizzy might actually come on top of this barrel here. Oh, it's even. It was it was very close then. Oh, Nizzy was yeah. Nizzy was only just keeping par with uh, with Slaw. It looks like the base defenses of Shrub didn't actually come to his aid this time. And Izzy has to pull up, but it looks like Matt can actually finish up Chief here and actually join uh, Nizzy in taking out Shrub. Ooh, those Tesla troopers might come in handy. Yeah, there's only one building left. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, there it is. At that point, you're better off soaking up the damage and just wiping the building out. Mm -hmm. I think we'll see here no, Nizzy and Matt actually coming in together. Yep, 2v1. So it's better to attack together, isn't it? So your opponent has less focus in two areas than one. I mean, you can definitely see that Nizzy is uh, slightly struggling against Short. While he might have had the upper hand, uh, it was it was definitely an even matchup between the two. Mm -hmm. Alright, looks like Matt and Izzy actually take game one here.